tragic beyond words. That was what the Home Secretary had to say today. She came to Plymouth to talk to people affected and to pay her respects to the victims. We heard less from her, though, on gun laws and the measures that are in place that are meant to protect us. From the Labour leader, though, there are questions being asked. He says he wants to look at a review of our gun laws, but also questions about what happened here and whether there were warnings missed, whether the decisions that were made about that gun licence were the right ones, whether posts online about mass shootings by the gunman a few weeks ago should have been noticed and acted on. And there are plenty of people now saying that this must be a moment when we do more to ensure it doesn't happen again. In a park where last night people came to light candles for the victims, the Home Secretary brought flowers today, alongside a chief constable whose police force gave the killer his gun and firearms licence back the month before he murdered five people on the nearby streets. Home Secretary, when you found out that the gun had been returned last month, what was your reaction to that? Questions about why police considered Jake Davison to be safe and stable enough to legally own a gun went unanswered, but will be looked at by the Independent Office for Police Conduct. The decision to reinstate the licence came months after it had been taken off Jake Davison because he'd been accused of assault. His own mother, Maxine Davison, was one of the five people he murdered on Thursday night. Also, Lee Martin, who tried to shield his three-year-old daughter Sophie from the gunfire, both were killed. Stephen Washington shot dead while walking his dogs. Kate Shepherd, she died in hospital that night. All of them remembered last night as hundreds of people who live in this area came together, struggling to believe the area they call home was the scene of the first mass shooting in the UK for 11 years. Kiam's got an amazing community and we will stick together through this crisis. Those who organised the vigil were back here today to meet the Home Secretary and talk about the impact of Thursday night's events, an impact they know will be felt for years. On September 11th, every single person in Kiam knows exactly where they were when this happened. Um, and the hurt is deep. And, and While questions are asked about the mental state of Jake Davison, with the police watchdog investigating what police knew, whether they acted in the right way, there are concerns too about the impact on the many children who saw what happened. Among them, a severely autistic teenager. His support worker told me he'd followed an unarmed police officer who was in the area. I mean, the police that was with us, um, that was first on scene, I suppose, because um, they were just around the corner. Um, so, you know, it, it literally unfolded all in front of him. So it would, would have been hard to kind of process that in, in anybody's head, let alone somebody with, with, you know, additional needs. Alongside the trauma and grief, there is anger too. The Labour leader has suggested gun control should be looked at again. Echoed today by the MP for this area, who says there must be transparency about the decisions that were made. When you found out that the gun had been returned last month, I was a bit broken anyway when I saw that news and that made me even more so. I think this community deserves the truth and I want to see if there are problems with the systems that need to be improved and repaired but I don't want to see any other community anywhere in Britain going through what we did over the last couple of days. That means We've got to have those difficult questions asked and we need the right answers. And if they are difficult, then so be it, because we've got an entire community grieving here. We've got families grieving. We've got a three-year-old girl killed. We need to get those proper answers. This is a place where people know each other. That means there are many grieving and many who feel broken.